I'm going to share with you this afternoon the value of contemplative prayer as a, as a spirit-filled kind of prayer. When we were kids, my sister, Sister Matt and I, it was a time for novenas. Before we have the first grading period, or the second grading period, meron yun ganun nung araw, di ba? First grading, second grading, no? We would always pray a novena to the Holy Spirit. I did not understand much about that novena. Usually the novenas are small packets uh, or handheld uh, novenas. We did not understand much. Oh, ako, I don't know. Did, did you understand much about that, no? <laughs> <laughs> well, however, it was just nice to realize that on the day of the exams, our grades are okay, and uh, we managed to pass all our exams, and I always attribute it as a gift of the Holy Spirit. But of course, we all know, for those of you who are sitting, sitting with us, you know that the, the gift or... The gift of contemplative prayer is? Ano? Sabi ko alam nyo eh. <laughs> wisdom and compassion. And wisdom is part of the gift of the Holy Spirit. So there are two parts in the gifts. Irene was talking to us about the fruits of uh, the Holy Spirit. I will be talking a little bit about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Of course, in every, in every event, there are two sides. We cannot just be breathing, 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 as also Sister Irene mentioned. But when we breathe in, there is always a breathing out. When there is action, the flapping of the wings cannot be done only one hand, but it should also be both hands, the action and the contemplation. So you, have, you can fly with both wings. You can walk with both feet. So both. So there are three gifts of the Spirit that are said to be the contemplative part or the contemplative ones. The wisdom is there, number one. Understanding and knowledge. Uh, these are like interior, inner, the loob. And we have the active part, which is counsel, fortitude, the fear of the Lord, pangkulang, <laughs> and courage. Okay? So these are the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And part of this are developed... When we do contemplative prayer, who, do, who does not want to have the gifts of the Holy Spirit? I think we all want the gift of the Holy Spirit, especially that gift of wisdom. And the wisdom is not learned in books. Wisdom is not learned in school. Wisdom is not learned from the internet, although we may be able to absorb some from what we hear in our YouTube or in the internet. However, wisdom is something that just, that you know. You know, you understand. Wisdom, understanding, knowledge, these are the, the gifts that we receive when we, contem when we do contemplative prayer. And when our lifestyle is really a lifestyle that is more contemplative. And by contemplative, I don't mean sitting always in the chapel or being quiet all the time. What does it mean to, be, to live a life of contemplation, a balanced personality? Hindi pwede na nasa chapel lang palagi. Uh, at nasa uh, walang walang ano walang imik hindi pwede buhay ang buhay hindi ganun then when we realize that not only the Carmelite nuns or the Dominican nuns are contemplatives but that you and I 
especially you in the world, can become contemplatives in the world today. Last night, I was talking to a group of a family who have um, gathered a group of five women only initially. And these women started to weave baskets. Yung bayong. And I was saying, do you have a market for that? But they said that their name, the tag that they placed, is already a market. It's the De La Strada um, group. I forgot their name. But anyway, it happens like that. Some, somebody thinks of it, and then five people starts it. And then all of a sudden, there is now a group of people working on that and earning something for their living. That is what happens when the Spirit is active in this world. When the Spirit inspires us, as the Spirit has inspired us, the Holy Spirit has inspired us, alam ko in my heart kung tama. Not only because of the beating of my heart, alam ko na pagpunta namin sa Scout Santiago, tama yun. Ang bahay na yun, tama yun. Nabibil na doon kami nanirahan. When I saw that house in Scout Fernandez, alam ko rin, in my heart of heart, I am asking the Spirit to give me the knowledge, to give me the, the strength, to give me the fortitude, to give me that, that wisdom, kung tama ba yun. And true enough, we were able to buy the house in Scout Fernandez. And that is where you, many of you, have found God through contemplative prayer. When we went home last May 13 to sit with you there, it was very nostalgic for me to see the center. We are not sitting there anymore. Instead, we are sitting in a big, bigger hall like this here at Regina Rica. But I know that the Spirit of the Lord is there because I could feel, I could feel that we have not really left that place. It's just that because of the pandemic, we are staying here. But there are so many of you now, if you have forwarded and you have shared, there are so many of you now. Our sisters who are not here today are watching us too. We have two postulants who are going to become novices by May 31. They're watching. Hello, Kay. Hello, Joyce. Sister Mao, who is uh, at, um, in the mother house, is also watching. And I can see so many of you also watching. I checked earlier on. We have two sisters also on retreat. Maybe they are not watching because they have spiritual direction right now with their formator at the Senecal house. But we have Sister Brenda and Sister Marites who are going to make their final vows on May 23. Again, the workings of the Holy Spirit to give those sisters the energy and the fire to continue to become Dominican sisters of Regina Rosarii. At a time when there are very few people joining religious life, the question now if somebody leaves is, why, did, why do I stay? Why am I here still? Why is it that one or two have left, but I am still here? And it is the power and the wisdom and the gift of the Holy Spirit that makes us know how to discern, how to balance things. Discernment is also the gift, a gift to us. So wisdom, understanding, and, and knowledge, these are gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, when you talk about the fear of the Lord, it is not fear na tatatakot. It is the awe. Oh, you are awed. Ah? And you don't want to displease to somebody. You are amazed. It's a great amazement. It's awesome power. And I hope and pray that as we develop contemplative living experience, as we become more and more contemplative each day because we practice contemplative prayer, 
I pray that all these gifts of the Holy Spirit will be received by us. May you receive wisdom, understanding, and knowledge as God's gift for you. And may your heart burn with fire of divine love. May we also all receive the gift of counsel, the gift of fortitude, the gift of fear of the Lord, and the gift of courage, especially during this time of pandemic. May God be with you, and may God bless you all. Amen.